we're going to dive in to Night in the Woods. And we're going to spend some time in the woods in the evening. I mean, right now we're not in the woods. Hi, Risu and Brenomania. Hello, friends. Oh, I just realized. Look. You can tell which ones you can stand on. Because they have sills? Are they called sills on the outside? They're called sills on the inside, right? Oh my god, Risu. It has been an interesting time in my life, let me tell you. Um, last time I was having a breakdown because of work, right? Well, Thursday I quit my job. Uh, and Friday I went in in the morning to resolve a few things. So now I am a full-time freelancer. And people tell me that I should probably give myself some time to relax instead of being an overachiever and trying to do everything. Um, but I feel really guilty if I just let myself have fun. So I've actually been super anxious <laughs> trying to get everything taken care of. I did not set the building on fire on my way out. No, I like people who work there. Besides, does setting fires sound like my style? I mean, maybe May would do that. But I have a phobia of fire. So I'm trying to balance this properly. No, it was just not a good fit. So, oh, you know, I never did upload that to YouTube. Okay, well, I'm sorry, YouTube, that you're gonna have two videos uploaded at the same time. I didn't jump on anything. I could have jumped on my desk, but they probably would have yelled at me. No, I felt a huge sense of relief when I left that building. And I don't ever have to go back, which is nice. So I'm going to be trying to do everything on my own for at least a few months. I want to try to pay my way with uh, freelance work and whatever else I can drum up and try to give myself some time to focus on my novel and things. But it turns out that major life changes um, have emotional reactions um, and miserable work experiences have effects on you. And so I've just kind of been a big ball of emotion the past couple of days so good morning fuzzy werewolf but we are here to play and we're gonna get started with some dusk stars the best song in the game <laughs> thanks chrono wow 1400 Kroner, that's an even number. Well done. <laughs> Capital letters, yes. Um, Dusk Stars, the song definitely calls for all caps. So one of the things I did before I quit my job and made my financial situation somewhat uh, in question um, was by Alec Holo, Holo, I don't know the right way to. <laughs> Thanks, Cyber. Yeah, no, I mean, it is a pretty scary life change for me, honestly. Um, the last time I tried freelancing full-time... God, I'm sorry! This is just the game of Lauren talking way too much about her real life. Um, <laughs> oh my god, guys. Are you saying nice about 690? Ah, thank you. Um, <laughs> I'm glad you guys are excited. Um, oh, good. Well, okay. Yell and be excited. It's good. It's good to have people be happy. Today I was having a bad time of it, so I helped a woman in the store because I was getting groceries, and I helped a woman in the store who was trying to put something in her buggy, so. <laughs> Thanks, Nick. <laughs> oh my god, guys. Okay. <clears throat> I appreciate your support, friends. Um, yeah, it's like, if I'm, like, really struggling, the best thing I can do is try to make other people feel better. So. You are adults. You're grown-ups. Definitely. I was saying something. It must not have been that important because I can't remember what it was. But, anyway, I'm doing my best. Um, the last time I tried to do full-time freelancing was in 2008, which was not a very good time to do things like that with the economy being what it was. I was in a worse, like, I don't know. Things were different then. So I'm trying, maybe that's part of why I'm... <laughs> That's fair, Nick. Um, I'm trying to structure everything. Like, I have this strict structure that I haven't been able to keep to. 
<laughs> I suppose that's true, Proto. There are occasionally moments that I'm not saying something, um, but they are few and far between, and in the meantime, I fill the world with words excessively. Yeah, well, well, what I'm hoping, Possum, is that a few big clients will be able to give me something solid and then everything else on top of that is, is, is gravy. But at the very least, I should hopefully have a few months. Tori Knox is... She was curled up one way and then she had to get up and spin around and curl the other way. You know how it is, like when you're a cat. That's very important. <laughs> um, I got distracted by my cats. <laughs> Thanks, Kurno. I mean, to be fair, May is a cat. She's just also not a cat. No, being a cat is very tough work. My cats are really unhappy because I'm like home, but I apparently haven't been cuddling them enough. They disapprove. So we'll see. Yeah, I know, Nick. It was, it was a rough time. I fortunately started my career before then. Um, but that was definitely not a good time to be a freelancer. Things are a bit better now, and I'm more established in my career, so I have some clients that I can probably rely on for, again, paying the bulk of my bills. But I've always wanted to focus on, like, writing fiction and stuff for a little while, just to, like, indulge myself for a few minutes. Minutes. Months. So, so what I'm going to do is, like, the most self-indulgent thing possible is I'm going to actually try to focus on my novel some once I finish with this academic presentation conference thing I'm doing this weekend. Why am I... S I should probably just play the game that I'm supposed to be streaming. Well... Hmm... I guess if somebody is actually watching my Night in the Woods replay... Oh my god, May's little ear twitch is so cute. I guess if somebody is, is actually has made it this far through, then they're okay with the fact that I've now been rambling for seven minutes and have like jumped up and down on some windows a few times, and that's all I've accomplished. Uh, I mean, these basically are vlogs. Like, I don't think I'll be able to go back and watch my past videos because like, it's really hard for me to go back and watch my past videos because so much really hard stuff has happened in my life the past couple of years. Um. But, if you're following along the grand adventure of Lauren's very dramatic life, we're here. <sighs> we're gonna watch some stars. I like how May doesn't yarg this time. Presumably, either she's learned to close her eyes before he finishes with the filter, or she's learned not to complain about it. Haha. <laughs> I do need to actually make a thing with the clips. People have clipped things. Oh my god, guys. I'm really excited. <laughs> Scott Benson clipped <laughs> us talking about Katie Washington. <laughs> so, clearly, it's going to be canonical, you know? Katie Washington. We are all Katie Washington's children. I probably mentioned that last stream. I'm sorry if I did. My memory will hopefully come back. Um, but it, it's not... Not good lately. Hmm. A thank you to whoever followed, subscribed. I get confused because, like, okay, with YouTube, there's subscriptions with Twitch, subscriptions and follows are different. Oh my god, parking lot possum. And by the yard we mean the universe, right? Oh my god! Hello, Adina. Oh, thank you, Steven! Isn't it her grandpa who tells her that story? It's interesting that we know more about her grandpa. <laughs> well, thank you, Stephen. I appreciate it. <laughs> 
Like, that is so interesting. This is one of those, like, tantalizing things. She's holding a lantern. Um, where, like, you, you really want to know what happened. You really want to know why she did that. And where she went. <laughs> Thanks, May. May's like whatever you can't. You can't darkness and sadness me. No, sir. It does actually seem possible that she went down into the core of the of the world and found herself somewhere else entirely. You know? Ah, and like this the way the like the ripple effect of that vroom. God, the sound design is so good. Cole. <laughs> Maybe Nick. It's possible. Well, fortunately, I have actually pretty good headphones, and so sound design is easier for me to notice in this situation than it's really ever been with like gaming, like playing on like a television. Sorry. With this song, it's either too low for me to sing it or high, and maybe you don't want to hear that, but... This is the in-character answer. <laughs> oh. oh my god. That's really sweet. <laughs> God, the writing is so gorgeous. There's um, a really, what is it? There is a quote, a really famous quote here um, about bringing something back with you when you go away. Fries with cheese and gravy? Like poutine? Hmm. But the difference, Fuzzy World, is that Adina went knowingly into whatever fate she found. I liked, I've liked poutine. In fact, I actually, um, having had it in uh, visiting friends in Ontario. When I went back home to Texas, I made I made poutine at home because <laughs> I could. It wasn't exactly the same, but it was close enough and still pretty delicious. Certainly not a food full of nutritious content, but delicious nonetheless. Oh man, Cyber. Okay, well, I assume that you don't do very well with biscuits and gravy. <laughs> Yes, the stars are pretty great. I'm in agreement. Oh man, biscuits and gravy are so good. I can make a really good um, vegetarian biscuits and gravy. If you um, brown the butter first. No, Chrono, no, no. The thing is you're supposed to have your fullest meal of the day for breakfast. And so why should that not be biscuits and gravy? Am I right? Oh my gosh. Biscuits and gravy is so good! Ah! The only gravy worth eating, really, is cream gravy. This dude has nothing to say to me. Hey, Selmers! I feel like you went through the dryer in the wrong setting. It's such an expressive way of putting it. <laughs> So if you can't do biscuits and gravy, can you not do um, chicken fried steak? 
I hate how it like defaults to saying no to her. Why would you ever do that? <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> it's a kid. <laughs> Such a great response. Hmm. Selmers. I'm pretty sure that um, May and I were in absolutely absolute agreement in how we said that to Selmers. Selmers, you should totally talk to Chazakov's attractive grad student son. Read your poetry to him. I don't know why I like this trio of trash cans as much as I do, but there's something like greatly satisfying about this, you know? Like, I mean, I'm bad at it, but still jump, jump, jump. Jump, 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 or even better. Like, like, do like the, the whole thing, like, like, boing, boing, boing. I mean, it's clearly designed for you to do that, right? Like, if I were May, which I am, I would just spend all day doing that, which I kind of do. So, yeah. Oh, that's nice. You can step on most of these. Noise friends, indeed. They're my friends, and we're making noise together. I relate, you see, to the noisiness of them. Hey, not animal tested. Let us say hello to Katie Washington. So, question, friends. I assume that these are all kids that Katie Washington hasn't lost. Notice how there isn't a cat child. That tells me that Katie Washington herself is a cat person. Space alert, your uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Your blasphemy will not change my mind. Somebody define coalescence for me, please. Also, I think it's interesting we're in cold country, see. Hey Bruce, please be okay. Hmm. Interesting. That is a really interesting choice for, for the church to be the, the church of coalescence, of coming together. Because it's one of those words that like you kind of know from context, but it's not the same as like knowing what the actual definition is. Um I don't think that's what they mean, Fuzzy Werewolf. I think they're going for the other. <laughs> okay, I'm amused. I was like gonna run with it, and then it's like, wait. No, gravy doesn't coagulate. That's disgusting. <laughs> I mean, uh, gravy can kind of form a skin on it, like, but pudding does. Pudding does that. If you make pudding from scratch, which is delicious, by the way. Why have I not made chocolate pudding in a while. It's probably because I don't have any good cocoa powder. Congealing. Yes. Which is not the same as co coagulation. Oh my gosh. We are having way too many. Ah. Okay. So words. But I'm pretty sure that coalescence is a choice here both to reflect something about the values of their faith but also because it's coal country. Haha. <laughs> See it's funny because it's coal. This is coal. But it doesn't actually mean coal but it is.
sorry guys. This music is actually really soothing. Oh, Bruce, I'm sorry. Hey, M10, I hope grad school's treating you okay. I don't know if he's telling her this for her or for him. <sighs> no, I don't think he's their last sacrifice, but his family is definitely not there. There's, there's too much detail. This is clearly his fantasy. It's funny because like even like knowing where that conversation is going like it's actually harder this time yeah no I don't I don't think he's gonna make it um, off those trains But it sure is a nice thought. So I spent a couple of years volunteering with the homeless to some degree. And there was one event that we, um, that the, the university I used to work at had um, students who, like, I, <laughs> I like to talk about how the students at the school that I used to work at um, all wanted to save the world, and then a lot of them did, and it was one of the most inspiring things. And there's one kid who was like 18 or 19 and he kind of kind of by accident founded this nonprofit that was trying to like raise awareness um, and, and it had this event that they put on um, it was called reach out um, it was actually a really cool event because um, they brought they got like a bunch of like you know barbers and people like that to come out and people donated clothing and they had like these like shower stalls set up and things like that so it's basically like you can come and you can clean up and you can have a meal and you can hang out and do some arts and crafts and things. Um, then they needed volunteers and like a lot of the volunteers, like what I did was I just like sat in the arts and crafts section and just like talked to people. And like I've heard stories like Bruce's. And it was all about like I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna be with my kids and I'm gonna see my grandbabies. And I guess, like, part of the thing is, like, I don't have any specialized skills to help people. You know, I can't fix anything. Like, all I can do is see them and hear them. And that is rare enough that that's a gift you can give somebody. And that's really heartbreaking. So I know... 
I know if you're in like a big city like New York City or something like that, you're not supposed to do this. Um, and I've certainly had like people follow me or say rude comments or whatever because of this, but like I try really hard to make eye contact with homeless people when I pass them on the street because like being like, I see you, I recognize your humanity is like the kindest thing I can think to do. Also, if you don't know what to give to be helpful, like, I mean, yes, granola bars and water bottles are always super helpful, but so are socks. The door makes noise. I didn't notice that before. Everything I was part of said more um, socks than underwear. So. And you get people who say these uh lazy etc cetera, etc cetera. Yeah. And I'm not going to say that there aren't people out there who are unbalanced who might make you uncomfortable or feel unsafe. Like, that can happen. Um, as, uh, as sad as it is, like, so Austin is a really great place for, for, like, they've got a lot of resources to support the homeless. And the weather, um, at least in the winter, is really mild. So it's a safe place to be. But if I was... Even when I was volunteering, um, if I was crossing path, if I was walking past the Austin Resource Center for the Homeless, I would cross the street. Because the people who went there were the people who were uh, the most difficult to be around. So. <laughs> That's kind of sweet and sad, Chrono. Yeah, this is important. Yeah. You can't fix the problem probably with what you've got. But you can make somebody's life a little bit better. Oh yeah, no, Chrono, that's very clear. The way, like, there's like this this awkward, ugly pause when they realize that what they've said is perhaps not what they should have said. And then the way she responds to that. It's a very, very bless your hearts kind of thing. I don't know what NIMBY means. Like, okay, it is like finally a problem I can solve. I haven't heard that term before. No, you you have a kind heart. Um, is I th I think it's um. I think it's a person trying to soften the blow. Like we can't do this. Oh, you're so kind for wanting to do this. It is so kind, so kind that you want to take care of the homeless. You're such a sweetie. It's uh, patronizing. Um.
I um I would say I have a lot of experience uh, reading uh, into what people say and understanding them, but I know that's a thing you do too. Um, I think if May wasn't clueless, you mean, do you think, do I think the right thing to do would be to tell Pastor Kate that Bruce is planning on leaving? I don't even know. That's a complicated situation. You know? Yeah, no, it's true. May is really not in a position to do that. Yeah. It's such a good way of putting it, you know. I think this is something um, to do with not just like faith in like a deity, but kind of like faith in the universe. Like you have to like, I think sometimes consciously decide to cling on to it. Because sometimes if you pretend big enough. Sorry, guys. Hey, Mom. They're really cute. And I like how May tries really hard to be really supportive of her mom there. I think May is wanting somebody to have answers, and I think she's upset that nobody does. And unfortunately, she does strike it at Kay where, uh, where things hurt the worst.
Sorry, I've got some kind of half-formed thoughts in me that I don't know that they'd do anyone any good to talk about. Hello, friends. You should go play music. <laughs> yes, fiddles and violins. You guys should play together. Everybody should be friends. Everybody needs friends. There sure are rats everywhere. I don't actually know if the uh, violin is any more pronounced this time. Let's go visit Lori and then go down and visit the rat baby cave. <laughs> yeah, the violin guy um, harmonizes with the music. Yes! Again, the violin is totally adding a harmony to the melody. Look at Lori and her little nervous hand playing. Oh, Lori. Hey, B Sim. <laughs> yeah. She's like trying this out, trying to see how May is going to respond, trying to figure out what the right answer is. If May was like, ah, oh, smoking is cool, Lori'd be like, yeah, smoking is really cool. But May's like, eh. and then Lori's like, uh, not smoking, not smoking, not smoking's cool. Yeah, I didn't want to smoke anyway. So, <laughs> so in the at the end here. Gonna do a cover of the song with some friends. I've actually got the sheet music right over there on my couch. Oh, Lori. So desperate for somebody to pay attention to and approve of her. This is Lori. This is Lori's theme. You better believe I'm going to sing that part. I think that is one thing that May can give also, is seeing the people who aren't seen. There are so many people in the world, I think, who go unseen. You know, and it's like not the majority, obviously, but there's a lot of people out there who slip through the cracks. And sometimes you can't help but wonder, like, what kind of a difference can you make seeing somebody like that, huh? Even if you're just a dumb kid and you look across the room and you see another kid there and you say hi. Like you never know what that's gonna mean to somebody. I mean, I was like this idiot kid who was really friendly and outgoing and I talked to a lot of people. And I know sometimes it made a difference for them because they told me later, so like. Yeah, well, May is her best self because she has to be for Lori. There's a lot of, I think there's, I think that that's probably true for a lot of people, isn't it? Don't you, don't you take better care of yourself when you're trying to set an example for someone else? Don't you, 
Don't you find yourself being your best self so that you don't let somebody else down so that somebody else can be okay? Yeah, no, that can totally happen, Chrono. That's really sweet. That makes me happy to hear. You know? I mean, and if you think about it, like, um, like, just those, I mean, people talk about random acts of kindness, and I know that that's, like, the most, like, cliche thing, but, um, but it is remarkable. Well, it's, Lori, it's not just that Lori's not going to make a crack about it. She's also not going to pay attention to it in a way that makes me uncomfortable. So, like, May can kind of explore her issues on her own terms, but put them, like, kind of, like, take them out of her and, like, put them out in the sunlight where she can see them and somebody else can see them. Um, but it's still, like, in a way that she's comfortable with. Like, she doesn't have to worry about, like, an adult being like, oh, I'm going to take you to the hospital because you're clearly broken or any number of things like that, so... She kind of tries to bring them up with other people, but people don't take her seriously, or they take her too seriously. Lori is just kind of in the middle, like Lori takes it as it's offered. Anyway, I'm sorry, I'm just kind of all over the place tonight. Yeah, Chrono, I think that's the best thing in the world. I wouldn't say Lori has self-confidence. Lori has a crushing lack of self-confidence. She's desperate for May's approval constantly. You can see it in the way that she picks at herself when she's waiting to see what May is going to think about her ideas. You can see it in the way that she cages what she says so that if May doesn't respond to it positively, she kind of dances out of the way like, oh, that's not what I meant anyway. Um, so I think she's extremely insecure. Um, but May doesn't judge her and takes her for who and what she is, too. But I mean, she's constantly belittling her talents and she's constantly putting down what she wants to do. She's like, well, I want to make movies. I mean, movies are stupid and like, that's dumb and I can't do that. Wait, you don't think that's dumb? I mean, maybe it's not dumb, you know? I do think there's something really valuable in going out and doing kid things as an adult. For me, a lot of times that has to do with going and playing on playgrounds because I've always felt a really strong connection to playgrounds and swing sets. So. I like how they don't know which um, which track has got a train on it, or in this case, both. I could never lay next to a track because I'd be pretty sure I was going to die.
hectic is a word for it. How do I even begin? May says. Yeah. Yeah, jumping on a trampoline is exhausting. It's so good for you. Lori might actually listen to May too because she takes May seriously. So she's like, well, if May is saying it, it's got to matter. Wait, did I have both of these last time? Because I recognize the guy on top, but I don't recognize the guy on the bottom. Hmm. That is an interesting way to spend New Year's, Proto. Were you, were you, did you get into shenanigans like that? Yeah, I don't recognize that though. Like, I don't remember that. Oh, wow, something I didn't pay attention to. Well, I guess that could happen. It's too busy talking about everything else. <laughs> oh, May. That's such interesting social commentary right there. <laughs> oh no, Coyote Dash. This room has had lots of interesting thoughts and conversations. May goes into the closet and talks about herself. I've actually recently heard a number of people talk about wanting to like buy an old church complex and like turn it into kind of communal living space, which is kind of nice, you know? I think that would actually be really, really nice. I, I think that would be really nice. I don't know. I actually really have I've always really liked the thought of kind of communal living with friends. Um, where you like have like your private space, but also a shared space so that you can't be lonely. So you've got people around so you can kind of work together to contribute to something bigger than you. I don't know. It's kind of always been a, a dumb dream of mine, but. that I kind of had when I was married to, but um, I was married to an, an introvert who didn't like being around people, a misanthrope, so it wouldn't have worked out, but pepperoni survivalist pizza. <laughs> that, that, you know, making somebody's bed uh, is actually kind of creepy, but it's well-intentioned creepy. All right, what do we have to say in the closet? Oh, May. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Well intentioned, creepy May. Well intentioned. Yeah, I thought about that too, but no, she definitely doesn't seem to be able to. She is an adorable weirdo. She is most assuredly an adorable weirdo, whose heart is definitely in the right place. Like, so much of what she does is actually trying to help people and being good to people and again like the people that other people aren't good to I suppose I should actually drop off here not break my legs jump on every critter ever 
Oh wait, actually no, we're gonna come back and do B later because B is gonna be the other quest because we have to do the high school one, right? <laughs> so there's only this guy. Did everybody else quit? Huh. That's interesting. That's kind of what I uh, interpret there. Yeah, no, Scriggins is the only character that I have no sympathy for so far. Or at least no understanding of, like, you know? <laughs> this horrible person that we interacted with as part of Greg's, um, because Greg simultaneously has the best and the worst taste in people, I say as I walk in to meet his like too good to be true boyfriend. Yeah, serious thing. Well, I've heard like especially like the telemarketing side of things is like brutal. Like if you can make it past like three months, it's like astonishing. What is wrong, dude? I'm sorry, dude. I would totally watch the movie Be Nice. We should make a movie and call it Be Nice. That, that part of the, that theme is in something else. Oh my gosh, will you be my friend? Yes, hello. <laughs> I loved Amelie. Hey, Hitchuki. <laughs> yeah, Coyote is actually a very interesting animal. Oh, look, somebody's watching television up there. I talked to him the other day. I love that he like doesn't even like blink like when May is like Hey dude, what's in the news? Like right outside his window. And <laughs> he just answers this time. Hey kids, how are you doing? Teens who are all taller than me. It's like playing Final Fantasy 14. I'm playing a Lollafell, but I'm like the minimum height of a Lollafell, so I'm shorter than literally everyone else in the game. <laughs> hmm. 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 <laughs> See, the joke is because Proto doesn't play a Lollafell. And I do. So he's way taller. Hmm. So what's the deal with Mulvey? Yeah, well, I feel like I feel like some of the people that she bugs have to uh, have to have some sort of a uh, affectionate response to her. Oh man, pierogies! I had pierogies over the weekend because my friend was in town, and we stopped by the uh, tavern down the road and had pierogies. 
They were tasty. Well, he had pierogies, but he let me have one of his. So I had technically pierogi singular, but it counts. A pierogi is basically a dumpling stuffed with mashed potatoes. That's the easiest way I can think of to describe it. But it's good. Mm. <laughs> Pretty sure I picked that answer last time. Oh well. They are actually really tasty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so is this when I get to choose whose ghost hunting trip I go on? <laughs> Man, I haven't had slushies in a long time. Okay, there's a bunny night, okay. Hmm. Angel has face tattoos. He's probably gonna go to Austin. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Pass through Austin, maybe. Oh man, don't tempt me to want a Sunday. We get a slushy and a Sunday? What? Like a slushy from what? What kind of a slushy? Are we talking like a like one of the ones you get from 7-Eleven that's like the red liquid kind of like a snow cone type thing? Why would you do that? That sounds bizarre. Crawfish actually. Well, we have a bunch of Canadians around, so they can they can weigh in on whether this is a thing. We can take a poll of the resident Canadians in the chat. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure I picked Casey last time because Casey would be her priority. So I'm st I, I'm sorry I can't not pick this, even though I know that the other one is an answer that I haven't seen before. I can't not pick Casey. Spider? Is that also a weird mixed beverage thing? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Somebody just shared a ice cream and soft drink. Oh, like a root beer float! Or just a float in general. I think that's because it's soft serve instead of ice cream. Yes, it's called a float here, Fuzzy Werewolf. So if you look up a root beer float, tell us if that's the sort of thing you're talking about. <clears throat> it makes more sense to call it a float than a spider because, like, the ice cream floats on the soda. So it's actually rather literal. Yes, something bad is coming.
<laughs> That's, the, the pauses in the dialogue are so good. <laughs> okay, Fuzzy Werewolf, that's probably fair. That's fair, Cistern. So I don't typically like root beer. Um, so I usually would try to do like a ginger ale float, which is pretty good too. Um, but I now have birch beer, which I like better than root beer. So maybe I'll do a birch beer float. And then he just like, Germ just like, goes right along like I'm gonna drop that bomb on everybody and then walk off because I'm germ and I'm a weirdo that's okay germ we're all weirdos root beer is sarsaparilla right creamsicle float orange cream soda ha good suggestion Colonel. I used to love orange soda like too much when I was a kid I guess that would make sense, Sirius Inc. Alright, well, we're gonna talk to B but not hang out. Hi, B! stuff. <laughs> Vanilla ice cream with soft peaches. Oh man. Why stop there? Why not just have like a peach cobbler or like a peach and blackberry cobbler? I love cobblers and all of its and in, in the, the many many different kinds of cobbler because like you can have like a cobbler with like a crumble topping or like a cobbler with a cake topping sometimes a cobbler is called like a crumple or like a uh, something else so good I'm a big fan of cobblers at some point um, when I was working at my old, old university um, and like we were connected to this like international like Fulbright exchange something Anyway, they put out a call and were like, can anybody take in these people and show them, uh, like these international people and give them an experience of like an American dinner. So I totally made them sloppy toast <laughs> and cobbler and something else on the side. And they were like, this is interesting. I was, they were like, is this a very American meal? And I was like, this is a very American meal. <clears throat> hey, Cole. Or, or apple, well, apple crumble is more like apple crisp, right? Which is not the same as a cobbler. A crisp and a cobbler are different. Hmm. <laughs> Let's hang out, Gregory. Mm. Oh. Seriously, so you can do a similar thing by like, um, if you take like a banana and you put it in some tin foil and you like sprinkle like cinnamon and brown sugar on it and then bake it a bit and then you put ice cream on that and it's delicious. <sighs> you can't make an apple cobbler. Cobblers are specifically for squishy mushy fruits. So with an, with a, with an apple or a pear you have to make it crisp. Because they're different. Oh my god. Why is this thing here? Our boy is not looking good. I'm surprised that Angus just lets it be there. Oh man. Well, cooked apples are squishy and mushy if you kick, cook them, but um, the, the, the process of getting them to be mushy is different than using a squishy fruit, like a stone fruit or a berry. I think blackberry and peach cobbler or combination is my favorite. I am a goody two-shoes, Squizgar. That can't be a surprise to you. Oh my god, what are you doing? No, no, no. This is a bad idea. Donut wolf slammer cakes. Oh my god, Angus is here. <laughs> <laughs> what is 
the deal, Angus? Oh my gosh. Oh my god, these two. Like, the sound effect of Greg's flailing arms is kind of terrifying. Oh dear. Oh dear. Sugar incident possum? Is that so? Oh no, Angus, I'm sorry. This is B's car, right? May is being super annoying trying to get his attention. Angus has to because you damaged your car oh he knows so much about everything What is this picture? The Night in the Woods edition of the we ha the McDonald's? I don't know what this is. I clearly don't know memes well enough. No. <sighs> Oh my god. Whoo. Hmm. <laughs> oh jeez, wow. Yes, mom and dad are definitely fighting. What can fix a flat tire? Yeah. Sticks, rocks, snow. Leaves. Oh, jeez, wow. They are having some trouble. Ah. <sighs> hmm. May, May, you are helping. You're not helping. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> of course, Angus does. Of course. Yeah, no. That is fair. No, seriously, that is fair. I mean... Uh Yeah, changing tires sucks. 
I should probably read up on how to do it again just in case. That's why they're a wooing. Okay. Because it's a wolf. <laughs> May looks so pleased with herself. <sighs> okay, Squizgar, I am going to project on May here and say that when you frantically try to hold your group of sanity, you don't ingest substances that disconnect you from reality. So I'm not at all surprised to find that she doesn't. Hmm. Eternity sauce? What the heck? Oh my god, we have to have doom nuts. <laughs> I really want to know what eternity sauce was. Oh my god, okay. So I assume there's some degree of caffeine involved. <laughs> Wait, I thought she said the caffeine doesn't work on her. Coffee makes her sleepy. This is one of those those times when like everybody is on edge and cranky. Well, with the hole in the center of everything. Is that what you're saying? Oh, Greg. Oh, Greg, I'm sorry. And you're just like, everything is going wrong. Oh, no, May. <laughs> Why are things weird? I have been there, May, way more times. No, May, no. No. Oh my god, what am I doing? Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? I guess this is kind of a joke on the uh, the whole cats. Oh my god, she's being a cat. I have to do the maximum amount of damage. Oh my god, May. Oh my god, May. No, May, no! Why is she doing this, May? Uh, 
I relate, Greg. Oh jeez. So where is my bathroom destruction? Some of these I haven't looked at before, clearly. Yeah, it was weird that it showed up there. I guess maybe there was a pentagram in there. Owl? Oh, right! Greg's cousin. Oh, crap! No! I just realized I didn't go talk to the other musician. Uh, I bet I screwed that up. Oh, well. Hi, friends. Maybe I could just not go do this. Awkward. Third wheel. Everybody's fighting. <sighs> this is really awkward. Her kicking her little legs. No, B, no. Oh, they had plans and Greg pushed those aside for me and she doesn't even know. Oh my God. Sorry. Yeah, donuts make you sick. No, the thing, yeah. <laughs> That's a good point. Let's get donut six some more. Hi, Knox. <laughs> Having double vision here. Here it comes. Knox put her face right next to the microphone, yeah. Awfully dramatic. <laughs> yeah.
Hi, Knox. This is good. We're having a conversation. Difficult conversations are really important. That's cute. Hmm. 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 May, these are both meaningful contributions to this conversation. Gordon, the sheep. Hmm. I'm glad that Angus can still use pet names for him, even though they've been fighting. Oh my god, wow. Thanks, Angus. <laughs> you know, I don't think you can put this one entirely on her, Greg. You're the one who's been trying really hard to give her what you think she needs. These two are like a nightmare for a babysitter. Oh my god. I was a babysitter. See this is like like pop rocks in the in the toilet or whatever is like nothing compared to that. Ah, uh, yeah. Better thing to be legendary for than beating the crap out of somebody. Do a crime with us. What is our last big crime going to be? Oh my god. What are we doing to this thing?
Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, there's something here with the uh like he's doing a little bit of being like them cuz this is the last time they're going to quite do this. There's kind of that low pervasive hum. <laughs> that was weird. But that's okay. Hi, Dad. <laughs> That's pretty honest. Are <laughs> you guys paying your respects? Paying your respects for the uh, big creature thing? robot monstrosity that we created. This is about Yeah. I don't think he's lost in the woods. I think he's found in the woods. I think he'll find new home and new friends. Hmm. I'm glad she let some of it out, you know? Like her giant scowl right now. That's really cute. Yeah, no, I love May's relationship with her parents. I love her parents. It's so weird. Late night television is weird, okay. Hey, Captain Caps Panties. This game is really good. It's we're we're very close to the end, so if you haven't seen it and you don't want spoilers, um, I would recommend that you give it a try yourself. But um Yo, know, I feel like despite their problems, um, at the heart, uh, they're actually an astonishingly functional family. Astonishingly functional, because they've got that really good core.
<laughs> yeah, I apologize for apologizing. Thanks, Sharkle. And indecisive. Yes, Sharkle is Sharkle is something. All right, let us do this then. Bedtime. Let's go for it. Yes. Yeah, the football helmet I got um going to get trash, which I didn't um put up on YouTube. So I guess I'll probably be putting both of these up on YouTube because. I have not been good at taking care of my channel. I've had a lot going on <laughs> in my emotional state at the very least. It's interesting how she doesn't have a dream. And you kind of like ex assume she's going to have dreams because like she um has always had dreams in a way. I don't know where I was going with that. What was I saying? The words completely fell out of my head. What is the unfortunately? Yeah. Well, that's why you get involved and try to find ways to make things better. Oh my god, he's very cute. Are you guys saying that I should, uh... Oh yeah, no, it makes sense, Risu. It's just, it's interesting because you kind of expect that there's going to be dreams anyway. Even though the cat says that, that they're closing the hole so there won't be any more. And so it's, it's kind of jarring almost. So are you guys saying that I should jam? Because I can jam a little bit if we want to jam. Ah. Uh. Rambling and jambling, it's Lauren, that's what I do. I don't know that I'd even call that cat mean so much as, I mean, I guess a little bit more mean than indifferent, but. All right, let's try jamming. <laughs> These are really hard. Do you guys want to do die anywhere else? Which one would you, would you guys want me to do one of these? And if so, which one should I do? All right, let's do it then. See if I can make this work. I'm sorry I missed that one note earlier.
Oh man, I thought that I'd gotten better. And then I mess it up. <sighs> you get groupies, that would be cute. Oh, May. Mm. Growing up is weird. You know? Hi, bird! Yeah. I love how many things her shirt blends into. Like, look, her shirt sleeves. Like, look at that. Let's go talk to mom. I like how May still feels bad about fighting with mom. Like, it's still weighing on her. By the way, if, if I didn't miss you, Blues, or if I didn't already, if you're still there, like, we'll see you later. I'm not playing Dark Souls this week because I'm going to be in Florida. Um, but we'll be playing next week with a special guest. Oh man, mom is so like sunshine daisy. Oh my gosh, my mom is such a morning person and I'm not especially. I'm not like not, not, not a morning person, but. That's okay, Chrono, there'll be another time. Whenever we have our um, CD ready for like more CD release party stuff, I'll give you plenty of advance notice. And we'll make it work. My mom totally calls me her baby. Oh no, this is bad for everybody. <sighs> oh May. She's gonna cry. Her mom is like, oh my god, baby. You're having a breakdown. <laughs> Teeny. Not even five foot tall. And jumping on everything. Let's go say hi to rabies, actually. I don't get to go on the bridge like this near where I live. They've got it, um, they've got it, uh, what's the word? Uh, fenced off. But I walked up around it yesterday, so that's the next best thing. Hi, rabies. What's up? Hmm. Yeah. Common law marriage. <laughs> I did play Lost Constellation on stream. I've played I've played um both of the other games. Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, it'll. I think it'll be the very first one in the um, streaming set, Chrono. So if you look on YouTube, it should be there. No children, no children, no children. I relate to that emphasis. Does rabies want babies? Hmm. had this idea in my head playing this game God, I love like the details of like how the perspective shifts on the two sides of the bridge you know like how does a person know enough about things to make it look like that you know I don't know that's good um hup 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 I may jumping on things that's what I do I may Jumping, jumping, jumping. Really, that's what I do, I'm Lauren. No, it's, it, well, it's interesting because like the game, like I had this idea in my head that the game was going to be about something that it wasn't. Um. Oh. Oh no. Haha. <laughs> Oh dear. Hi, George! Be like, it seems like it's gonna be all about the curse that prevents people from leaving town, and then it's just not. her aunt trying to be helpful. I scared that squirrel. <laughs> what are you gonna do? You gonna stop me, Aunt Mall Cop? <laughs> look, look at me. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, that was intentional. Yep. <clears throat> Selmers! Hey, Selmers! I like how everybody, um, like, increasingly, like, comments on, like, because you can't necessarily tell because her sprite or model or whatever is the same. Like, everybody tells you how she looks worse every day. Captain Panties, that you, the, the, you didn't expect the dialogue. Which dialogue? Oh man, snow. It's been snowing. Why is it snowing in March? Why is the north weird? Sorry, I have to do my jumping on trash cans. You know how it is. <laughs> oh man, let's listen in on this poem. Oh, poor dude. 
<laughs> oh yeah, Captain Pennies. This game actually is very, very. It has a couple of things like um, the characters dealing with their interpersonal stuff actually gets pretty dark and heavy. Um, but there's also some pretty dark, heavy, creepy stuff going on in the background as well. Uh, let's see, have I missed talking to anyone? Well, well, Angus. Well, well. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, so in Texas, there's like the wet winter, which is sometimes a little bit chilly. And then there's like a lot of heat constantly. Varying degrees of it being hot. No, we're gonna come back because we're gonna do her um her um thing. Yeah, we're gonna get to Germ. We just have to work our way through. Wow, not even that dude. Telezoft is, is empty. Okay, well, let's go up to church. Huh. We're, like, basically out of time for that door to open. Okay, Pastor K, you'd better be okay. Pastor K, I'm sorry that everything is hard. Hi, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, neither? Oh, that's really cute. <laughs> They're so cute. Hmm. Oh my gosh, I get to go to the library room. That's new. Oh my God. Oh my God. If the door repair guy is in there. Pastor K is not here. Look, Squizgar, I have to try anyway. Just like I have to jump everywhere. There are certain things that we're obligated to do. Hopefully the nap won't mess with anything, but I'm going to do it anyway. So this is a library, huh? <gasps> Look at this! I'm in the library and I'm going to nap. <gasps> oh, man. She's like phasing out.
I like that he'll just sit there with you for as long as you need it. <sighs> like he won't go away until you uh, hit the button. His poor little mate is just trying in her own way to make things a little bit better for people. And she's in over her head and she doesn't know what she's doing. She's not very well equipped for it. Um, there's a lot of things stacked against her. A lot of the problems of the world are way more complicated than anyone can do anything about. And she's like simultaneously trying to fix things with her friends or for her friends and the people she runs into. And in a weird way, she's also kind of trying to save the world. She doesn't even know what that is, but she's sticking her nose in there anyway because something bad is going to happen and she doesn't run away from it. She's like running towards it even when like literally everyone is telling her not to. And she's not doing it because she is an idiot or clueless and doesn't realize that it's dangerous. Like, like she knows perfectly well like she knows better than like anyone that this is really bad, that something really unspeakably awful is happening. Um, and her saying that she wants to record that moment with her mom, like there's something kind of final and, and there's kind of a farewell in that. So to, for her to have like this like one peaceful moment. I like that Miss Rosa makes uh makes her dad a rounded character so you can't just idealize him as, as grandpa but he's still grandpa anyway I'm sorry things are hitting me really hard tonight I've kind of been sitting on a great big well of tears for a few days Maybe a few weeks, I don't know. <laughs> so the thought that somebody is just like, just sitting with her, just making sure that she's gonna be all right for this little moment. <sighs> Part of me wants to just cry really hard right here and right now. <laughs> maybe get it out of my system and be able to function like a person again but you guys don't actually want to see me cry the real crying that I have inside of me like crying over sad things in games I mean, Coyote, it's, it's not just, like, it's interesting because the, the themes of the game, the things in the game that hit people hard are all different, like, I don't have the life experiences to get hit by small town, working class, like, rust belt, coal town, creeping towards what's the word entropy but the um trying desperately to make a broken world a little bit better all kind of struggling with faith in whether you can make it better or not and wondering whether you have any power or ability to do anything. I'm just trying to find all of the small ways. 
that you can maybe make things a little bit better for someone. <laughs> you know, small scale, big scale, trying to get some sort of ripples outward and desperately trying to cling to hope. But I know this sounds really melodramatic. <laughs> and maybe this is a stupid thing to talk about in the context of a game where I could be crying about the sad things that are happening and the sad experiences that the characters are having and kind of having a good old cathartic cry. And I think there's something to that. Usually there's... Usually when I cry in games, it's because something resonates with the character's experience and I'm feeling that character's experience and I guess you guys can feel that through me, but this is just me. I mean, I told you guys the last time I played this game, <laughs> the part I related to most was May's fear about unraveling. <laughs> and I've been kind of worrying about the same for myself for a little while now. And like, it's one thing to have, you know, crying breakdowns because you're going through a divorce and things like that, but this kind of existential, what is my purpose? Can I do anything with it? Am I eternally going to be struggling with the same emotional instability that I have for my entire life? Just as I think that I've gotten it under control, that's just because I feel the sunlight and forget the darkness. Anyway. It's kind of comforting to think of, you know, Somebody just sitting there with you. I'm sorry, guys. Hey, Josh. Yeah, no, you came during new content and just minor Lauren breakdown. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. There are things I really want to do that I hope I can do. I don't know. I thought I did, and then it turns out I didn't. Or I wasn't happy then, and then I had the audacity to think that perhaps happiness was more important than stability. You guys want to want want me to let you in on a little secret? <laughs> Every time I have to make a wish, no matter what it's for, like shooting stars, blowing out candles, friendship bracelets, anything like that. <laughs> Basically for the past, I don't know, 20 something years, I've wished for the exact same thing. <laughs> The answer is always happiness. I'm not specifying my happiness, not specifying anyone's happiness, not world peace or anything like that, just happiness. And I know you can't have happiness alone in a vacuum or it isn't happiness, it's, it's contentment at best, but you can still strive towards it as much as you can. Try to give the world as much of it as you can. So yeah, there, if that like breaks every wish I've made in a couple of decades, oh well. Thanks, guys. I'm 
Well, shall we take this moment? Try to do something in this this game world. I mean, whether we can make uh make the world better. I mean, that's the thing is we can, you know? As long as we're still alive, we can do something to make things better for ourselves, for each other, for the world. Like you can't solve a crisis yourself like on a global scale, but you can solve small crises. And that can ripple outward. So maybe when I say I don't know what I'm doing with my life, I'm actually lying. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but that's what I'm going to do. And I think that's what we all can and should do, so. Let's do this. Yeah, Kay knows better. It's really sweet that May doesn't. May is very childlike. And sometimes that's, uh. Hey there. Yeah, no. Thing is, like, children are innocent, and that. Sometimes means they're sweet, and sometimes that means they're brats. But May is very most assuredly an innocent. And Kay doesn't want her to have to carry that. I think Kay is the sort of person we can all aspire to be like. Now we're going to go jump on things and get in the way because that is how this game works. Jumping on things, getting in the way, right in the woods. <laughs> All right, well, we still have to make that happen. Yeah, no, May is an interesting combination of destructive and good. Oh no. Like, May is so clearly just coming apart at the seams here. Like, this cannot continue for much longer, you know? Alright, well, let's go creepily visit somebody's apartment, shall we? Oh, it's locked! Oh, 
Oh, good, Sirius Inc. I'm glad your suit turned out well. I... Bates a pretty decent... Oh, stop it. Oh, oh my goodness. Sorry. I'm apparently really tired. We're gonna go, we're gonna do that. Don't worry, buddy, we're gonna do that. It's the high school story we need to get, right? Whoa, the whole screen just jumps. Yay! Hey, Angus, buddy. Jump on the trash cans. Oh, this time we're gonna do it. I think it's through here? Is this how we get there? <sighs> I should get an actual chair at some point. <laughs> the hell is a malt? Ha. Oh, I missed the thing that I could respond to. Guys, there's things that I can respond to. I better go respond to those things. Nox is still sitting on my computer, enjoying the warmth. Let's see if I can figure this out. I swear it's through here. That's not right. <laughs> Good point, Squizgar. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> Let's try this again. There we go. Got it! It's through here, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, here we go. Too many birds! Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm going to successfully get these two together. I think I missed my chance. Sad. They won't be able to music. Let's go visit germs, shall we? Germery germs. Jumping on some trash cans. That seems pretty germy. Yeah, the triple jump is a bit uh, tricky. Hey, buddy.
What the heck? Ha <laughs> <laughs> mm. mm. Isn't Jerm in high school? Maybe he's not in high school. This looks... Hmm. Oh my god, what is happening? Wait, are we going on a date? What is going on? Hey, I had Sloppy Joe's for dinner. They were good. I probably should put everything away in the freezer. Huh. She's like wearing the most grandma sweater ever. What the heck? Oh. <laughs> May's face. I mean, everybody loves Judge Judy, but wow. <laughs> yeah, no, that's good. May getting feisty about that is good. Like, that's that's actually pretty awesome. It's like if this were just like a, a fairy tale thing, then that would be the like fortune and like the, the, the fact that she's like the, the haunted house in a way like that. It's actually an extremely good, extremely clear way of saying it, but what's super awesome is May's response to it.
Oh my god, look at May's face. Triple jump, 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 jump. Oh my god, I love trampolines. Oh. Oh my god, that's adorable. Oh my god, wow! Ah, yeah. These must be his uncles. Ha. Ha ha. Oh my god. God, Jerome's family is way more wholesome than I expected. Germ gets something from Grandma, huh? May is just silent for a moment. That was super cool. That was super cool. But no, but they're they're um very clearly and definitely um using the word fall there for its double meanings. So that's pretty cool. Oh my god, okay, well the final germ scene is amazing. I love spooky grandma and her spooky grandma magic. And I love the fact that May, just like as she is at the end, May is just like, whatever, you can't do that. I am stubborn and awesome. Yeah, no. Well, I wouldn't quite say that Germ seems like a harmless weirdo. There's, um, there's definitely an undercurrent of something with him prior to this. Um. And it makes sense that somebody in his family is just kind of sort of not quite connected to this reality because he's kind of sort of not quite connected to this reality. <laughs> Thanks, Greg. I expected Germ to have a dysfunctional family the way um, Lori has a dysfunctional family. <sighs> Here we go. So sad. Is it darker here than usual? I don't think it is. Let's see if Miss Rosa is here one last time. I already came down here, didn't I? I think I did. 
What have I not done? Or is it time for me to go? I guess I'll go talk to the, uh... Go talk to the, um... Violinist one last time. There we go. I got it. You guys need to play music together. No! I missed it! Ah, oh, sad. Sad, Lauren. Well, that's okay. I, I did it last time. I, I... I'm trying really hard to make things good for everybody. Did I not talk to Lori today? I thought I did. I thought I talked to Lori... Oh god, am I getting my days confused? I talked to Lori, um... And May was like, probably see you again? And Lori was like, probably, and May is like, I'm not here. I'm sorry, May. All right, let's go do this. Is there anything else I haven't done? Oh, Ella is finding the right way to curl up over there. It's very cute. Okay, well, let's go do this. All right, we good? Shall we go check out the graveyard? I think this is what we're gonna what we're gonna do. You guys ready? Actually, hold on just one moment. Sorry, one of my best friends just sent me a message that sounds like something might be wrong. Please bear with me a moment while I uh, try to figure out if everything is okay. So I just, I thought I saw something pop up. Okay. My friend is, uh, all right for now. Whew! All right. Good night, Risu. <sighs> Sorry, I try not to, like, check messages in the middle of a stream, but, like, I have my phone here just in case something comes up that's an emergency, and sometimes a friend sends you something that you see out of the corner of your eye that you're like, I probably ought to make sure that's okay. There is definitely a lot of fog in this area, like, partly maybe because I'm, like, right on the river, but, like, there are some really gloriously foggy mornings, which I guess I don't have to drive to work in them, so I can just walk in them now. Spooky statue. Ghost stories. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> yeah, that is pretty scary and true. And that's why we've got to actually do something about it. Yeah, B is too wrapped up in real world stuff to, uh, to, uh, have any space in her for super supernatural existential stuff oh wow wait the the that mu that must be from 
October, not March. So this must be European numbering system. Okay. Skeleton in your hallway at night. Oh. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> no, but Nick, I haven't been playing this game for a year. Yeah. I can jump. I can't always jump with my bee adventures. I appreciate that the quote there has to do with jumping, and I'm jumping, and there's lots of jumping. Yes, seriously, I think that's a good point. There's like creepy red sparkles. I should probably let her be. Hmm. It's so ominous. And then I'm jumping. <laughs> How do I get to the other graves? I'm glad to know that you guys are all in the same. Uh... How do I get to other graves? What am I doing wrong? Wrong button. Standard head soon. Yeah. Catherine Fish. Hi, D Dittrix. Dittrix Dex. Yes. Feminism is awesome. Microfiche. So this is a microfiche. Hmm. Oh, hello. Were you here last time I came through here? God, that's a great combination. I have a friend of our friends who moonlight as things like wedding DJs. <laughs> that's pretty great. All right, here we go. Brad Boyson is a motorcyclist. No, it's a car, not a car, a bike. Sure. 
Yep. I'm pretty sure that I picked that same answer last time. They sure did give this place appropriate atmosphere. And I am ruining it by jumping up and down. Like a dummy. get up the hill. I want to... Oh, there we go. I got up the hill. Janitor statue? Are you saying that you think that the statue looks like the janitor? With his weird little beard? I thought the beard looked familiar, but uh, I'll have to take a look the next time we see the janitor. He does have the hat. Sorry I missed that, guys. God, check out the, uh... <laughs> May is just like, whatever. <laughs> You gonna come here? Come on. Come on, Knox. Meow. <laughs> B has no patience for this. Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the answer is no. Because B was super smart and on the path to go to college and a high academic achiever. She's a Victorian, right? I'm sure I picked the I could wrestle one. <laughs> the impending cronk. So it's the high school one, right? High school is the one that we were told that we need to pick, yeah? Let's do it. This is correct, right? And hi, Nox. Nox, are you a little girl? Look at what a cutie you are. Am I doing a bad job taking care of you, kitty girls? I'm trying. All right, we're going to do this. I believe... We have express orders to do this. This is why we picked B this time. Oh my god. <laughs> I think last time we picked college and it had something to do with her like falling into a garbage 
can while trying to seem cool to some cute girl or something like that. She really does throw up all the time. Wow. <sighs> oh my god, May. Yeah, wow. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Okay, well, I can see why that's the option we had to pick. My goodness. Hmm. Poor B. Yeah, less concrete. Gonna go smash some things. I'm trying to remember what I did. I think it involved jumping on stuff. Pretty sure it involved jumping on stuff. Pretty sure I jumped just like that. I know what I'm going to do. Jumping on stuff is one thing that I can get behind. Oops. Ah, no. I swear that's what, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Oh, man. May would really like to suplex it, but, uh... Ah, there we go. Yes! Ha-ha! 
I have destroyed everything. <laughs> oh, wow, you're right, Cyber. <laughs> you didn't specify quote 25, and it still pulled it up. That's pretty remarkable. <laughs> yeah, no, that was pretty good, RNG. <laughs> Oh, I can't jump anymore. No, you've taken the power of jumping away from me. I can't handle it. Okay, well, she stopped there. But I have to double check just in case there's anything else. Nope, there's nothing else. Nothing else to talk to, nothing else to jump on. Just a spooky grave. Oh my god. Joe Shade. <laughs> it's interesting hearing like some of the notes some of the music <laughs> hmm B is trying to be supportive it might be hard. Hmm. Grave is for a horse? Hmm. Horse sized coffin. Hmm. Hmm. This is me mashing the interact button. Oh, okay. I have to interact with my friend. <laughs> Oops, wrong button. Oh my god, May. <laughs> Sinkholes. It's interesting because you keep thinking that you've come across what they set up sinkholes for, but you didn't, you know? For bed. Thank you, Proto. <laughs> Comic relief, moment of levity. Levity. I like how her hand is uh, shaking. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing here, so I'm just going to move my hand slowly over it. Oh, wait. All right. Mm, I don't know how to open this. I guess maybe I... Can I hold on to the top of it? What am I doing wrong, guys? Like, what am I failing to understand about this? Is the handle on the top right of the grave? Okay.
Ah, there we go, okay. Yeah, my screen is very dark. I tried making it less dark because of Dark Souls. I <laughs> like how, like, this is like so slow. Grave robbers. No, I think you guys are right. I do think that that statue it resembled. I thought it looked familiar, but I wasn't quite sure. Oh god. It's interesting to have that statue right here in the center on this screen. Very gracious of you, B. Hmm. Her frown is so intense. Thanks, Angus. Life changes and stress are not good for a person's emotional stability. <laughs> so good. Oh, my God. The parallel writing is so good. <laughs> That's true. Angus is good with his words. <laughs> A little bit of good humor. So cute. Oh my god, Greg is so excited. He's going to bring his, his cousin's crossbow. <laughs> Thanks, Angus. So do we know about little Joe again? Wait, wait, Chrono, what did I not know? Sorry, sometimes I... Another thought enters my head and I forgot I forget what I just said. So if I said something, I have no idea what it was. Oh! Oh, because of the um, creeping into that um, historical society place. Got it. I love the difference in them, how like B is like, well obviously people don't come up here because there's a there's a fence. 
And Greg's like, uh, no, I broke that rule when I was a child. Good night, be sim. What is it, B? Ah. That's very sweet. Are you going to, George? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. Here's a bunch of junk, overturned carts, some trash, mine carts. Yeah, and everyone is just like, what is going on, May? You can see she was like fidgeting with her hands, too. The music is beginning to fade away. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. I just remember what's happening. Hey, Nick! Uh... It's worse knowing what's coming. Yeah, see, so, so you hear their names, and there's something really powerful about hearing, like, their real-world normal person names. Now, I don't know whether these are any names that we've heard, because we really don't get a lot of names for the townspeople. So you have any chance of outrunning them, but it still lets you feel as though you're doing something. 
you know? Even though you've got your little bitty legs and something is clearly wrong with you. And so it gets you engaged so that you, you are, you're like, if you don't know what's coming, that hits you really hard. Because you're like, I can outrun them, I can outrun them. And then what you expect is not that. Huh. And then I was like, what is this weird, strange epilogue thing? <laughs> That's interesting now that he's taken me there. <laughs> he's actually got this really well-adjusted loving family. Oh, what? <laughs> hmm. That's interesting that she noticed that. So she's clearly not telling May. She doesn't want to worry May. That's pretty cute, actually. <laughs> Next, we're playing Tony Hawk. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I know I did play as B last time. So I guess this is who you hang out, whoever you hung out with most. Five good naps and one nap bucket. I don't get to jump. So sad. Hmm. Attempting normalcy. Yeah. Oh my god, Angus, I love you. Oh my god, they're so cute. Sorry. I decided that they needed to snuggle. Okay, they snuggled. I like that everybody's like they're 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 functioning like they can't just like sit in a corner and cry the whole time, but like there's clearly that like we're doing this because we need to do something. God, the audio design is the sound design is so good. And like the weirdness of like the stuttery sort of animations there, where like it, 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 it comes in and out. Same thing as when they phase through things. Like that was how it was animated when she and her uh, grandpa had that moment. I'm honestly really glad that the grandpa came back. Like I wouldn't have thought anything bad of that um, as far as um, pushing uh, the magic realism border too far because for me it felt like the magic realism was was clearly what was happening so there wasn't any ambiguity so did she just face through the fence I think she might have 
It's interesting how there's like, by the way, you can't jump with this. Like, there's there's just like absence. Like they they have um, none of the buildings over there. Just uh, just the foreground items. Hmm. Yeah, no, Squizgar. I kind of wondered. I don't know. But it does really get at the uh, how incredibly disjointed she feels, like how everything. That's really true. She's a nice person, even if she doesn't know it. <laughs> so cute. Hmm. Very tough. Thank you, Summers. <laughs> That's something. <laughs> See you later, Nick. I hope that your evening gets better. <laughs> okay, yeah, you guys are absolutely right. That was totally a statue of him. It's so surreal. <laughs> Supposed to be fixing a door. Mr. Chazakov is a, is an excellent person. <laughs> The goat guys from the cult, you think so? The one who said that she's a... Oh, you mean the old grumpy guy? I think the old grumpy guy is just an old grumpy guy. I think you can be an old grumpy guy and not be awful. Oh, the one that was like, oh, she's like a, a, a child to us all? On the block? What makes you think that that guy's from the cult? I'm curious. I'm curious about that. Because it was too friendly and too supportive and he hasn't he personally hasn't shown a strong connection. Yeah, I guess that makes sense, actually. Hmm.
That is a good point. Yeah, because I was trying to, I was like, you know, who is this person? Trying to remember who he was. Who is he? She had an axe. She got the axe when we went um, trash diving. Or I guess Tras Trasha. <laughs> you were gonna be dead. I have definitely been in bad places where having friends playing video games on the, like in front of me is like the thing that makes it okay. I don't know. I'm so there's something I'm supposed to do at 10:30 and uh I uh Sorry guys. Mm. Let me figure out what I'm doing with that. Because, like, how close am I to the end? Do you think I can finish it in 20 minutes? Because I don't want to rush. But I also think that it's probably going to be awfully short for... Yeah. 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 <laughs> Less noisy. Okay. Well, and also, um, well. <laughs> you can ruin the mood if you want to, sister. Very long nap. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> oh, well, I'm excited for you that it's raining. Yeah, well, we can we can try to switch to transistor at the end, next stream too. We can make that work. All right. Yes, that's right. Transistor is next, which I understand is also going to be an emotionally heavy game. <laughs> yeah, her mom's like, okay, well, B is a responsible enough grown grown up. That's very funny, Cyber. Okay. So. Thank you guys. I'm sorry that this was a slow, messy, emotional, I don't even know what that it was. Um, I don't know. I just. I'm going through a time. And I'm not going through a time the way May is going through a time. You know, like, that is, like, a whole other level of going through a time. But I'm kind of going through my own time right now, which I feel like I've kind of always been doing um, on streaming. But, uh... 
<laughs> um, yes, it was a night in the woods, and we still got to finish the last night in the woods. Mm. But yeah, um, thank you guys so much for coming by. I appreciate your patience with me. We'll see how things go from now on. Well, no, Croner, did you did you did you miss the part where I quit my job last week, <laughs> so I don't have to go back to work? Um, so, so it's it's kind of um, an adventure of trying to figure out what I'm going to do in the meantime. No, it's okay, Chrono. Um, I talked about it kind of off and on. Um, but yeah, so I'm kind of scared right now about what's going to happen in my future, but I'll figure it out. I'm sorting through the emotional ramifications of a lot of things, um, and hopefully things will be okay. And we need to, um, I don't know. I want to believe something awesome is going to happen. We're going to do something awesome. So, oh goodness, Knox, 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 Knox. Knox is not a secret murder cult. She's a cat. <laughs> we should indeed form an adventuring party. I think it'll be good. Well, thank you guys for being here. Um, you are good people. Um, and I appreciate your company. And we'll start a fresh game that will probably not stir up the same degree of this. It will have... Well, we'll go back to crying because of what's happening in the game and not because of me being me and having things, I assume. So, good night. Have a good evening. We will not be here on Thursday because I will be in Florida, but um, hang out on Discord and I'll let you know all about those adventures. So, um, we'll see you next week. Bye.